New tonight at 10, downing pills meant for horses to treat COVID-19. Tonight, Missouri hospitals are seeing more patients who have consumed ivermectin. News 4 first warned you about taking the drug two weeks ago. Now, Jenna Ray is talking to a local doctor who says some are getting sick after taking the drug. People who are relying upon ivermectin and remaining unvaccinated are under a tremendous false sense of security. That's Mercy Doctor Stephen Brown's message Monday as some continue to consume the livestock form of ivermectin. I have seen people with uh, ivermectin toxicity in the emergency room uh, from taking the animal uh, uh, formulation. I've seen people who relied upon ivermectin to prevent themselves from getting COVID who are on ventilators and who have died. Those cases being seen in some rural Mercy hospitals across the state. Two weeks ago, News 4 took you inside feed stores across the St. Louis region. We found empty shelves where ivermectin products sat, along with warnings from business owners saying that specific medication isn't for human use. And it's not just happening here in Missouri. The National Poison Data System shows ivermectin cases across the country skyrocketing over the last month. When you give an animal medicine to um, to a, a human, um, it's um, you're not going to uh, you can see very very adverse effects, serious damage to the liver, serious uh, neurologic injury. Dr. Brown says ivermectin at the right dose isn't harmful to humans, but he warns there isn't enough research when it comes to using ivermectin to prevent or treat COVID-19. There have been court orders to um, give patients ivermectin. If it, if it comes down to me getting a court order uh, to get uh, ivermectin, uh, uh, I'm 60. I'll be 66 uh, next week. I'll, I'll just retire. You know, I, I'm not. No, I'm serious. It's just uh, it, that's that's wrong. In St. Louis, Jenna Ray, News 4. And the advice you've probably heard before. So before taking any medication over the counter or not, doctors recommend checking with your primary care physician first.